Okay, don't buy the OnePlus 11R, at least until you watch the end of the video. Now let's talk about OnePlus 11R, it's definitely a very good phone. As for the highlights, it comes with a 6.74 inch curved AMOLED display, a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, and a Sony IMX890 sensor as its primary camera, and its starting price is just 40,000 rupees. As a OnePlus phone, it's definitely a pretty good option, but not the best when you consider the price. Now, if you're someone who is looking to buy a flagship range phone around 30 to 40,000 rupees, we do have many better options. Well, for the first best option, we have the iQOO Neo 7, which actually isn't launched in India, but it comes with a MediaTek Diamond's D8200 processor with a 64 megapixel primary camera, and it starts around 28,000 rupees. Well, purely in terms of performance, OnePlus 11R is still better, but considering the price difference of at least 10 to 12,000 rupees, Neo 7 is definitely a much better value for money. Besides the Neo 7, we also have phones like Oppo Reno 8 Pro, Realme GT Neo 3 and Motorola Edge 30 Fusion. Well, they are in the same price segment, but once again, the best value for money goes for iQOO Neo 7, which is going to be launched on February 16th. So if you're planning to buy a new phone these days, I would recommend you to wait until the launch of the Neo 7 so that at least you can know what's good out there. So guys, out of the iQOO Neo 7 and the OnePlus 11R, which one do you prefer and why? Do let me know by commenting below this video. With that said, like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel.